Hi, my name is Neil Thompson. It's May 2020. I've come to Perthford Church in Perthford in Surrey to have a look at some of the graves and the church itself, to have a look at where my ancestors are buried and find out a little bit more about them. So um, apologies for the long hair. It's um, during the COVID pandemic lockdown. So all the barbers are closed, so I can't get my hair cut. Anyway, it's a beautiful Norman church built in 1150 um, in Perford. And I'm reliably informed that Perford um, stems from the Pear Tree Ford. The Pear Tree Ford is a Saxon, um, it's a Saxon, well, Saxon word, Saxon origin apparently. And that's how the town of Perford got its name. The lovely Newark Priory, the ruined Newark Priory, is down the bottom of the hill, about um, half a mile away, very close. And um, I'm surrounded by trees in the lovely churchyard here. You can probably hear the birds in the background. Unfortunately, there's a road um, very close to here, so you may hear cars as well. But um, anyway, we'll take a look round. I've had already had a look. Um, the church itself isn't open. Um, due to the COVID pandemic, a government instruction that all churches are closed, no public gatherings, so they've closed the church. But we will have a look inside the, the vestibule as you come in. There's a lovely piece of artwork which ex explains the history um, of, of the church um, since, uh, since it was first built through to the modern day. It's worth having a look at. And I will also show you um, a couple of the graves of the Hill family. My mother is a Hill. Um, her, her maiden name was Truman, but her mother, who was buried in this churchyard, is, um, was called Hill, Patricia Emily Victoria Hill. And some of her ancestors, and therefore my ancestors, are buried here. Apologies for the noisy vehicle going down the hill, but um, they'll go in a minute. A lot of motorbikes out today. It's um, a Sunday, everybody's out on their bikes or their motorbikes. There is um, an old churchyard here. I'm in the old churchyard, which is right outside St Nicholas' Church. But across the road, and if I turn round a little bit, you'll be able to see it through the trees. There's a second churchyard. There's the, the new churchyard. Um, and uh, that is where my grandmother, Patricia Emily Victoria Hill, is buried. She, she unfortunately drowned in the way navigation in 1947 and she is buried over the other side. Let's make our way back up. Beautiful sound of bird song. Shame the road is so close. But many of the people in this graveyard are related to the hills in some way. This is the main entrance to the church. If I spin round a minute, You'll see the huge yew tree behind me, and here then is the, the church itself, with this sort of vestibule, I think it's called, where you come into the church. And we'll have a look inside here, because there's a lovely piece of artwork that um, explains a little bit the history of the church. So we'll go and have a look at that. As the sign says, unfortunately, the the church is closed due to the COVID pandemic and the lockdown. But here then is the piece of art. It starts off with um, the story at the very beginning of the church, 1150, when it was first built just after the Norman invasion. And it carries on and gives you the whole history of the church through the centuries, through to the modern day. A very nice piece of, art, piece of artwork. Here's the view looking out from the vestibule to the entrance to the church. Pretty certain that one of the hill graves is down this way somewhere. Let's go and have a look. Some lovely Acer bush there church is behind me and yes I found it it's a little bit closer see what it says 
Can you see that? It's not very clear. I'll read I'll it read out. It. In loving memory of Henry Hill, who departed this life February 10th, February the 16th, 1915, aged 52. Also, Eldred Hill, son of the above, killed in action June the 10th, 1918. The rest is covered in moss. I'll have to cover that off. Clear that off so we can have a look. I'm not going to take the moss off because um, by taking the moss off, you actually take the letters off as well, which I'm not going to do. But I have got information on um, Eldred Hill anyway, which I will um, provide a bit later. I'm very lucky to have this photograph of Henry Hill and his wife Julia Axford Reed outside their cottage on Cold Harbour Lane in Perford. They're with some of their children, but in actual fact they had 11 children who all lived to adulthood, in fact all who lived to a good age. This photograph obviously was originally black and white, but I've colourised it using the colourising feature available on my heritage, and it's come up really well. The oldest child in the family was Courtney Hill, uh, born in 1883, who I don't think is present in this photo, and my direct ancestor is the second son, Sidney Hill, born in 1885. Henry Hill at the back there, with his hands on his hips, was born in 1863, and as it says on the gravestone, he died in 1815. This um, second photograph was taken in 1928, after Henry Hill's death. Um, it features the wedding photo of Florence Hill, the bride, to Alfred Pullen. Um, Julia Axford Reed is sitting there in the front row on the left. She was born in Codford St Mary um, in Wiltshire, very close to Salisbury Plain. She came from a, f a shepherding family, a family of shepherds. Um, but she came to Surrey with the building of the railways. Her parents um, came to live in, in Surrey and she came to Surrey as a young child and ended up marrying Henry Hill. Incidentally, I met uh, Florence Hill, or Florence Pullen as she became, in 2001. She died in 2002 at the grand old age of 99, and I was very fortunate to go and see her um, the year before she died. And she told me that her brother, Eldred, was killed by a sniper in World War I. He was a dispatch rider. Um, that's something that I would definitely not have known otherwise, his um, death record from the Commonwealth War Graham's Commission just says he died. It doesn't say how he died. So um, that little bit of information I was fortunate, and fortunate enough to receive from Florence Hill or Florence Pullen. Henry Hill's parents were William Hill, born in 1816. Nothing to do with the William Hill bookmakers. And... Um, Eliza Harding, born in 1827. They almost certainly are also buried in the old churchyard at St Nicholas's Church in Perford, but I couldn't find their gravestone. Coming back to the headstone, in the next video I will talk about Eldred Hill, who lost his life in World War I, and two other hills who lost their lives in World War Two. All their names are on the war memorial at the entrance to the church.